Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. I hope you are all keeping well during this crazy time. It is definitely one for the history books. A little bit ago I posted a video on Instagram of a duplex place card that I created for a client and asked my followers if they were interested in the tutorial. A lot of you guys were so today's video will be showing how I created these gold foiled place cards. So firstly I needed to create the SVG file for the Cricut and the foil quill. If you have sketch fonts installed on your computer, you could easily do this step in Cricut Design Space, but as my client has requested a particular look, there are limitations in Design Space in regards to designing. I find Adobe Illustrator, or even Inkscape, the best program for this type of design work. I created this design for a client, so unfortunately I can't show exactly how I made this, but all you need to do is convert all text to um, a shape or outlines and then save as an SVG file. So to do that I go up to file, save as, change format to the SVG and then save. In Cricut Design Space the first thing I do is create a shape, the size of my paper that I'll be using. In this case it's 8.5 by 11 inch um, or A4. I hide this layer for now by clicking on the little eye icon. Then I created another square shape and make it really small. This will be one of the registration marks to help when duplexing to make sure the positioning is correct. I change it from cut to draw and right click to duplicate as I need two of them. Now I upload my SVG file by going to upload image clicking browse, finding my SVG and then select open and then save. I select the image and insert the image into my canvas. I right click to ungroup the images. The foil quill requires text elements to be changed to draw, so I go ahead and do that. I leave the circles as they are in the cut mode. I turn the page layer that I created at the start back on to be a guide and select one of the small boxes. Here in the position section I will make sure that my box will be at 0.25 and I'll also center my first side in the center of the paper shape. I hide the shape again and now I select the box and also my place card and then click attach. This will now cut and foil in the exact position that I have selected. I now take the second side and match the circles up. Once they are matched I will hide the first side I created earlier and also position my second small box in the same position as I did for the first box um, at 0.25. I delete the circle from the second place card as on this layer I am only foiling and I won't be cutting at all. I also select the box and the text and click attach. So I hope you guys have been following along and I haven't confused you. I have two layers, um, side one if you like and side two um, and they both match each other so when I foil I can foil and cut the first layer and then I can turn over the circle and put it back into the circle you'll see what I mean <laughs> later and then foil that side. So I start with the front side and I go ahead and hide the second layer and now I go and select make it. In this screen I will leave the paper size as 12 by 12 as I have already matched up my position and I'm not going to worry too much about changing the paper size. I click continue and use the cardstock plus setting and then continue. I place the cardstock on the mat and this cardstock is 300 GSM or um, 110 pounds I believe and then I add the heat reactive foil over the top um, and secure it with washi tape. I'm using the medium sized foil quill today and pop it into where the scoring stylus usually goes. I add the heat guard and let it heat up for about 5 minutes. 
Now the quill is ready to go and will automatically foil first and then cut out. I do stop it halfway to pull off the foil so you guys can have a better view of the process. I remove the circle and turn it around to reposition. I add the foil again and secure with washi tape. Just a side note, I am showing you one place card today, but if you were doing this yourself, it would be best to have multiple designs or place cards going on at once, so you save paper and also foil. I go back to design space and hide the first side. I'm also going to unhide the second side and then click make it. Now I'll be foiling the second side with the same settings as the first side. And there we have it, how to foil on both sides of the cardstock. I hope you guys have learned something new today. If you have, please give this video a like, and if you would like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you have Instagram, go ahead and follow me, I do post mini tutorials every week. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and as always, I will see you guys next time.